Hey, hey, quick one today. Uh, this is a 2021 Chevy Silverado RST. It does have dynamic junk management on it. I mean, dynamic fuel management on it. Some like it, some don't. I hate it. Turns this thing into a, uh, jeez, uh, I don't know what. Anyway, if you have the 10 speed, or if you have the 8 speed, or if you have the, the older 6 speed, um, I think you can do this to keep dynamic fuel management off. So number one, put it all the way over into L. And it does stay off, by the way. I'm just kidding around. Go over here to your selector. Go up some gears. L1. This is an 8-speed. Take it up to L7. Right now, dynamic fuel management does not work. Or is off, I should say. Anyway, if you're just tooling around town, uh, hey, l 7 is not going to destroy your vehicle. Oh, focus, focus, focus. But anyway, uh, just a quick tip for all of you Silverado people out there. Uh, and the other thing is that I'm super excited. I have a range. Uh, what do you even call that thing? Basically a microchip. The range. Check it out. Range Technologies. It will also, once you plug it in down in your port, which is located down here, plug it into your port, the lights go through a little sequence, and boom, dynamic fuel management is turned off. It does kick into a price range right around $230 to $250, I think, right now. Uh, in January here, it's literally at $230 plus tax, whatever, something to that degree. But anyway, uh, just a helpful uh, hint for anybody who's got dynamic fuel management and you don't know how to just disable it for free, basically. Um, like I said, shift down to L, go to L7 if you have the 8-speed. If you have the 10-speed, go to L9. If you have the 6-speed, go to L5. It's pretty simple. And you know what? You might be able to save your motor. So anyway, have a good one. His trouble.